I uh, opened up the NACA duct here, drilled a quarter inch hole, cut 40 inches of uh, aluminum tubing that was supplied, bent it to follow uh, the diagram in the manual, put a popsicle stick spacers here, and the uh, rib goes right through here, and I think I'm gonna bend, bring this up more to the top of the rib, so I'm able to uh, keep it further away from the antenna here. And then uh, I'll put the, the tubing here and attach it to this. Um, one thing I think is pretty important is when making this, uh, this cut and deburring this, that uh, any aluminum filings should be blown out of this and removed. Any dirt that gets in this tube is going to be going in the gas tank. Uh, there is a, a check valve that was supplied with my kit and uh, normally this is put on the, uh, the installations where you don't have the winglet but I had it so I'm going to put it on and there's this uh, convenient fitting here uh, that is really intended for the uh, uh, regular installation in which uh, the check valve is necessary because the tubing comes to the uh, NACA duct here and it would be uh, at times lower than the gas tank. So I'm going to put this in here and uh, I'm going to need to get a fitting to attach the Tigon tubing to this so it can be disassembled when the inlet's taken off. And the next step is to last this in position.